All right, as you can see, um, I've done a little bit of welding and a lot of mounting. Um, it was a tight fit, 65 inches is right at it. So uh, I wanted to show you what it looks like here. I got the three bolts in there. I used a smaller bolt in the back just because the plate was cut down to clear that reinforcement. Like I said, that's up inside here. Up on top, there's a reinforcement uh, for the bed rail in the pocket. Um, but anyways, let's see if I can get out here a little bit further. Whoops. Let's see here. Probably not so good. Let's uh, put some light in there. There you go, you can see the plate and the nuts. And it's just sandwiched in there. Um, it's very solid, uh, a lot more solid than I thought it was going to be. Um, I think I'd have to pull quite a bit before I ripped all that off. Um, but uh, I don't plan on pulling quite a bit. I don't plan on pulling hardly any at all. Um, maybe 500 to 800 pounds at the most. There's the other side. But um, it's really, uh, really solid. I mean, it's, it's locked in, it doesn't wanna move at all. So what I'll do now is uh, position the, um, the winch up here, make sure that it's centered real well, um, mark a couple holes, mount the winch, and then um, I was going to paint this, but you know what? It, I, I don't think that the paint would last very long, um, or at least stay on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just run this through the, uh, this, you know, until spring. Uh, wait till it's warm out and I don't have to run my heater. I don't know if you can see through the, the windshield there. Oh, but it's snowing again. It's not, it's, not, it's not accumulating, so I don't care. Um, that way I don't have to plow. But... Um, this should work out pretty well. I think uh, I think I like it. You see, I got a bed rug in here, which um, holds up very well. Um, if you guys ever consider getting one, definitely get one. It's uh, it works. It's nice. I don't think it's awful dark, and you can't really see. I don't think this little light I've got wired in there helps. No, not really. But it's uh, a little bit of work. Um, it's finally getting there, so. Uh, Hopefully, uh, I'll uh, have the winch on here shortly and uh, be able to show you, uh, sh at least show you how it looks mounted. Um, as far as the wiring goes, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, I know what I want to do. I have a power inverter. Here, we'll go over here. I've had this power inverter forever. <laughs> and I always wanted to put it in the back of the truck. Um, and, of course... Um, that needs to be wired uh, to a battery and it could be the battery that runs the truck so what I'm thinking about doing is running uh, an auxiliary battery um, because I also wanted to run a battery power that's separate than the front battery to this um, 7 pin so I can use the battery then maybe I'll mount it inside here um, anyways I was hoping to move the battery um, or mount the battery in the back use that battery to run the power inverter when I wanted it um, or run the winch um, or to use for the uh, trailer connector um, to power the trailer um, just run the refrigerator whenever uh, we're, we're toting it to wherever we're going to just to keep everything inside the refrigerator cool until we get there and then fire up the propane for the uh, refrigerator once we're there but um, I think an auxiliary battery um, I have a little bit bigger than standard alternator on here um, so I think that uh, that would be okay as long as I got the right um, uh, the right electronics that uh, switches correctly and uh, doesn't drain from the other and you know a lot of one ways you know a lot of diodes and, and stuff like that so um, 
I'll have to uh, I'll have to look into that. In the meantime, I think I might just run um, uh, the wires uh, for this down to a junction box, uh, uh, some sort of a relay that'll be underneath that's uh, um, to an ignition switch or to some sort of a, a switch that's in the uh, on the dash um, uh, that then goes to the battery. So what I can do is have battery power to these wires through a relay um, and the relay won't be energized unless I flip a switch on the dash. Um, that way uh, those wires aren't being energized um, until I want them to be energized. Um, and there's no chance of a, a drain or anything. But anyways, I, uh, I've carried on a little bit too long as always. And um, I may have to edit a little bit. But um, I'll mount a winch and uh, or mark the winch and mount it. Uh, see what it looks like. Uh, again, it's going to look ugly because I'm not going to paint it. And uh, we'll go from there. But so far, so good. And um, thanks for watching. Okay, here we are with the winch installed. This is the update to the installation. Um, right now, I temporarily have it hooked up to um, jumper cables that are running through the cab of the truck, um, which I have plenty of length that could have gone around. But anyways, uh, I, I haven't decided how I want to mount the battery yet. Um, if I want to put a battery back here or if I want to mount off the other one with cables running back. But anyways, um, I wanted to do a quick demonstration to show you the strength. It's pretty decent. The rails that I've used as cross rails seem to not hardly bow at all, if any. And um, it's pulling probably the heaviest load that I'll have to pull up here. Um, I've got the cable stretched out. Even with it mounted high, and this is a two-wheel drive truck and it doesn't sit very tall, um, I am at an angle. Um, the cable will catch the the tailgate uh, across the tailgate so um, you'll need a piece of wood or something in there to take care of that um, this is the tractor that's been here since 1975 when Sears delivered it and uh, I'm just using it as an example um, this uh, lifting that I'm doing here is uh, probably the um, once it's on the ramps it's only like maybe the second time it's been off the property so um, I wanted to show you it's got wheel weights it's a cast iron engine uh, the tractor is relatively heavy even though it's a smaller tractor and it's got a plow on it so this will probably be the heaviest that I lift uh, my son's helping me um, he's got the controller so I can do some little bit of steering although it's relatively slow so uh, we'll go ahead and winch it in and show you what it's like back there but the winch isn't bowing hardly at all and this is quite a bit of weight that's it's, it's going up the ramp considering that most of my stuff's lawn and garden I don't normally have stuff with this much stuff weight on it you can see it's not bowing Probably the heaviest part of the load. It's going up the and still going just fine. I even add the brake on a little bit to keep it from rolling. All right, bud, that's good. So you can see it does a good job. It's, uh, like I said, it's not really bowing at all. Um, even if I threw it on with this weight hanging off, it's not, it's not really causing a problem. So that mounting did work fine for what I'm gonna do. And uh, I don't think that we're gonna see uh, much for issues with the smaller garden tractors that I normally haul. I said I've got the brake on a little bit so it didn't roll so I'll take that off to help it roll back down and go ahead and unspool it.
notice back down the plow is going to start hitting here and cause somewhat of an issue but I'll lift it maybe that'll help it out okay bud so you can see it uh, it does a pretty good job and like I said this is about the most weight that I'm going to end up moving um, up and down this um, some of the bigger garden tractors, the uh, Simplicity uh, Landlords and the uh, Sears GTs, the, the older Sears GT mowers, the ones that have real tall seats, they have a hard time clearing this anyways, but uh, um, this will work out just fine. So I will uh, give you another update whenever I finally have a battery installed and let you know how I've done that, but I just wanted to let you see that the the thing actually works and does what it's supposed to and that uh, you can do it too. It's not very hard. Thanks for watching.